Hello, and welcome to the sixth video in this new SolidWorks Composer Quick Start Guide. We're glad you could join us. Last time, we talked about how to create a bill of materials. In this video, we're going to walk through the Technical Illustrations Workshop and highlight some of its most important functionality. Let's get started. The Technical Illustration Workshop takes your assembly from the viewport and creates a vector image based on your specifications. A vector image can be scaled to any size and still maintain its resolution, making it an incredibly useful deliverable to have. To open the workshop, go to the Workshops tab and select the Technical Illustration Workshop button. It should appear on the right side of your screen. There's a lot going on here, so let's walk through the various options and tools at our disposal. Under the Vectorization tab, you should see a checkbox that says Detail View. If you select it, a red circle will appear in the viewport. You can adjust its size and its location. If you generate a technical illustration with this option selected, a technical illustration of the portion in the circle will appear in the viewport, much like the Generate 2D Image tool in the Digger. Under that, you should see a Preview button and a Save As button. These are relatively self-explanatory. If you hit Preview, a preview of the technical illustration will appear in your preferred web browser. If you like what you see, you can hit the Save As button to save your image. Below that are three checkboxes, Lines, Color Regions, and Shadows. Lines should be selected in nearly all cases. If you wish to add color or shadows to your vector drawings, check the corresponding checkbox. There are tabs for these three components of the drawing where you can modify their properties further. Let's try an example. You can see I've taken the left portion of our bench grinder and exploded it out. From here, let's add a BOM table and then create a technical illustration of the viewport. To start, we need to assign BOM IDs. You can see that in the property name option, we have name, actor name. We'll generate our BOM IDs and then toggle the table. I'll select it and go into the properties window to change its placement and increase the font size. Now that our build of materials has been created, I'll go to the Technical Illustration Workshop, make sure Lines is active while Color Regions and Shadows are not, and then click Preview. And in a matter of seconds, we have a great looking technical illustration of our assembly. Creating a technical illustration is an easy process in Composer, but it yields an incredibly useful piece of documentation that shows off the composition of your assembly. As always, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with this series, and check out the forums and blog for additional Composer content. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.